everyone, I'm Jackie Montgomery here with Joe Cannon and the 2015 AT&T MLS All-Star Game just wrapped up and it was the All-Stars getting the 2-1 win over Tottenham Hotspur with Kaká and David Villa scoring the goals. I, I think you've heard of those guys, right? Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. Uh, what did you think of this experience tonight? Oh, I, I thought, first off, it was just an incredible night and an incredible showcase for the league. I, I think offensively, though, there were so many, so many stars that came out tonight, but the guys that impressed me in the second half, too, guys like Kai Kamara, Fabian Castillo, Ethan Finley played some great offensive plays. Even though they didn't get on the score sheet, they really impressed. Well, after the match, I caught up with head coach Pablo Mastroeni and several other All-Stars to hear what they had to say. Well, I think for me, um, knowing that uh, they're very talented uh, offensive players, was just to have a little bit of structure uh, defensively and how we're going to try to win the ball back. Obviously, Tottenham's a very good team, and uh, they're in very good form with some very uh, good players. Um, at times, it was difficult, but I thought when we got a hold of the ball, we did some very good things, and uh, I think the fans really enjoyed the show. Uh, this, this one was amazing. It was just a lot of fun tonight. Um, it was great how we just clicked out there. I mean, it was like just your uh, local pickup game. The guys in front of us, uh, they were just one, two in, scoring some goals. So it was fun watching it from the back. And uh, I'm really happy that I got to come out here to Colorado. It's been a great week and uh, finish it off with the win. As a former goalkeeper yourself, let's talk about them for a minute. Nick Ramondo with some big saves against Harry Kane and your former Whitecaps teammate David Ustad getting some time in there as well. Yeah, I think both of them played exceptionally well tonight, and I think everyone in the stadium knew they had to if we were going to get a result. Uh, Nick Ramondo, especially for me as a goalkeeper, I think he should have been man of the match, but like true to MLS and true to actually American soccer as well, I mean, the strength of the goalkeepers was on display tonight. I was very happy for once to be on his side of all that. He, you know, he's, uh, he's obviously beaten a lot of teams. He's an absolute monster in the goal. Uh, you know, he looks like he's 6'6", six, six, uh, you know, when, <laughs> when he's making some of those saves. Um, and he's a special goalkeeper, and he certainly uh, is probably the reason we won this game and, uh, you know, didn't give him any more there in the first half. And, uh, again, I'm, I'm glad he was on our side in that half. All right, well, that is a wrap from the 2015 AT&T MLS All-Star Game. Once again, it is the All-Stars getting a 2-1 victory over Tottenham Hotspur. Now things switch over back to MLS League play as all 20 teams are in action this weekend as a race to the finish for the MLS playoffs. And, of course, we will have all the coverage right here on MLSsoccer.com. All right, Joe Cannon, thanks so much for joining us out here. I'm Jackie Montgomery, and we'll see you next time.